a tease of Italian government market. Analysts broadly agree that Italy is most likely to stick with the euro. Perhaps chastened by their miscalculation of public disaffection in those two pivotal 2016 events, bets against Italian assets appear to show markets now assuming voter rebellions in Italy and everywhere else in Europe. Yes, no close aches. We have a favor to ask. Please disable your ad blocker or update your settings to ensure that JavaScript and cookies are enabled so that we can continue to provide you with the first rate market news and data you've come to expect from us. The sector is already in distress, but the prospect of a political crisis, market turmoil, and recession would make matters worse. Looking at where Italy is trading today, however, the level of short interest and the surge of interest in the referendum outcomes, one wonders whether much may already be in the price. Essentially, Renzi has massively increased the stakes by promising to resign if he loses the referendum, leading to more uncertainty and a potentially severe bout of political instability. However, it will create a conducive institutional framework to undertake other structural reforms that so many previous governments and parliaments have failed to approve. The uncertainty associated with the government crisis fosters concerns about the sustainability of the Italian debt. Spain's Banco Popular was the top gainer among European banks with a rally of 13%. The Italian stock market remains the worst performer in Europe this year with a fall of more than 20% due to the problems of its banks and concerns over political instability. Thanks for viewing this tease. Sign up for the Tip Top Tech channel or search for a tease second mind on YouTube to find and then enjoy other teas.